What's going on here gamers, today we're jumping into a little bit more Monster Hunter Rise and I'm going to be going over what I believe is probably the best way in the game in order to farm the resources needed to make those talismans. So if you want to make a whole bunch of talismans and want to know the best way, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. Welcome back everyone, today we're looking at a bit more Monster Hunter Rise, apologies for my voice, I have got an awful cold so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad, but I'll be going over the best ways that you can farm the resources in order to make an awful lot of talismans very very fast. If you're anything like me, you've made some of the best armour, some of the best equipment in the game, you've done pretty much everything there is, but these talismans are still eluding you. Now there's two ways that I found that are probably the most effective. You're going to want to go over to your multiplayer hub, jump right over to your quest canter, and the first way is going to be by going to that level 7 quest, the Serpent Goddess of Thunder. Now obviously this is a little bit endgame, but that's probably where you're going to be at if you're trying to farm these talismans. The reason that this quest is so good is because it's a little bit quicker, it's quite an easy quest compared to a lot of the other hunts, and as long as you're aiming for Nala's weak spots, jumping on all the weapons that appear, and you're in with a pretty decent team, you can probably get this done in around about the 10 minute mark, making this quite a fast efficient farm. Once it is done, remember to carve up her pieces, and then you're going to be looking at your tally reward screen, and hopefully you've got yourself some nice targeted loot. The reason you're doing this one, the Narwa pieces actually work out really well in regards to the points value that they're worth when you hand them in at the Melder. This one I found was really good, pretty fast, and gives you a decent amount of loot, enabling you to make easily over 5 talismans every single time. However, going straight back to our hub area and going to another quest, I found that going to the Rampage quests, and in general the Apex ones, I always for some reason go for the Apex Xenoga, this seems to be the best for me, but they're all probably very similar. These are going to last a little bit longer than the last hunt, as they're probably going to take you around about the 20 minute mark to complete, you're going to want to tick off as many as the targets that it gives you over on the left here in order to get that S plus rating. But again, because it is a team based one and because you've got so much in your arsenal, whether it being the Cantagon, whether it being the artillery, and of course that massive Wyvern shot is going to help you out massively. This definitely isn't going to be the quickest quest when compared to some of the others, but I found overall the loot you get from this much more than makes up for it. In fact, when you do finally take it down, congratulate everyone on a job well done, look over your rewards and you'll see just how much you actually have. A lot of these are worth 100 points apiece and the defender tickets that you get hold of are absolutely amazing, with the 9s, the 8s and the 7s all being worth very high points values. Most times I've found that doing a 20 minute run would allow me the resources to make at least 15 melds back at the marketplace. As you can see here, Apex Shock Shell, Defender Ticket 9s and Defender Ticket 8s are all worth a very high value. You'll be getting hold of a lot of these as well as a few other bits and pieces and like I said you should be able to make a lot of talismans very fast with these two methods, making your life just a whole bunch easier. Right well, you gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. As always for all the latest gaming, take care, I'll see you on the next day.